Hi, Hiram here. The last couple of days I've been doing tests using my new teapot and the West Wing stove. West Wind stove, rather. West Wing. West Wind stove. And thanks to the, the bee bopper, we found out that the stove actually works better upside down than right side up in all of the ads that I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen anybody using it this way before. Now what I had thought of doing was taking this resting line that the burner rests on, dropping it down a quarter of an inch so that we add on to the, the uh, sweet spot distance. But after trying it this way, found out that it cut the time quite a bit. So now it looks like I've got all kinds of tests that I've had requests for on this uh, with other different configurations. One of them, the first one I guess, I've had a lot of requests. I did it with the pot, the teapot. I've had requests to go back and compare it with the Boy Scout pot to see how the times between those two pots compare. So what I have here is put the West Wind Stove upside down. Or is it right side up? Somebody tell me, is this right side up or upside down? The way that it works better, would that be the right side up? Let me start this. Now you may notice I have two thermometers here. There's some tests that I want to do that I need two of them running together. So I went and bought another one. What used to be the true temp is now called the tailor. It looks like it's the exact same thermometer except the new tailor has got a uh, metal front on it. This one's starting to act a little quirky because in one of my frump fruit stoves tests it got wet and I don't know, they both look like they're within maybe a half a degree of the same tolerance but I'm going to let it run together and see what happens. So what I have here is two cups of water. Let me take the ice out. It's running at about 57 degrees. Let's wait a minute. Make sure that this is up and blooming. I got a question. I've had a lot of people say that I don't run this long enough before I put the pot on that it should run until there's a, a good bloom on it and really running heated up. But my point is, wouldn't this still be considered like the burning time because you're consuming alcohol here and wasting it? Okay. It's set at 57 degrees on both of the thermometers. It looks to me like the bloom is going good. So let's put this on. Start the timers, and let's see where this goes. Okay, I'm going to go with this clock. I have 210. 210, 211, 212 at 4.55, looks like they pretty much went off pretty close together. Okay, that's funny. The teapot on this same configuration uh, same two fluid ounces of denatured alcohol. Got the two cups starting at 61 degrees, boiled in 4 minutes and 55 seconds. This was at about 57, 58 degrees and came to boil in 4 minutes and 55 seconds. So I would say roughly that both the tea kettle, teapot, and the Boy Scout pot heat up about the same. pretty much the same as far as time. Now one thing I did notice when I was doing my second shot with the 
my second camera to show the flames. <clears throat> the spread of the legs here needs a much bigger pot than what it did on the bottom, on the other side. See how this comes out almost to the halfway point of the stove? This is where it would be resting when it was the other way. But this one, it's way over. So it makes for a larger pot. The uh, Boy Scout pot is has about, I think it's a 5 inch diameter. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure that it's 5 inches. The teapot has a diameter of about 5 and 7 eighths. Again, I'm just shooting that off the top of my head. I'll check that. So they fit on all right. But a smaller stove, say, I don't know, something like this grabber thing, uh, survival kit thing. This is only, the diameter on this looks like about three and a quarter inches. So this fits on but down where the legs are starting to taper. It doesn't fit on the flat. So a smaller pot is going to fit differently on this. Not sure. No, even on the other side it wouldn't fit. So a three and a quarter inch won't fit on this one. It would fall through. But with the tapered side the, on the other configuration it sets on the taper. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, that's using the uh, West Wind stove with the Trangia burner. Both pots, the Boy Scout and the Teep kettle, come to boil at about the same time. Close enough for government, government work anyway. And both of these thermometers look like they're within a half a degree of each other. Again, they're not precision equipment, they're just kitchen gear. So I think it's pretty good to be able to get it that close. So there'll be more programs coming. I've had people asking what other stove configurations or burner configurations could I use in this from S-bit to the carbon felt and all kinds of stuff. So looks like there'll be more coming. You know, things like this, the old tea light with the carbon felt in it, something like that, down in there. So, I do look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.